In this demonstration, I am showing the MCP3008 ADC using a potentiometer to measure voltage and a water sensor. I'll now press F5 to start the application. Here on the main view, we have two meters, one to show the reading from the water sensor and the other to show the voltage when I vary the potentiometer. Let's start with the voltage reading. Watch as I start to increase the voltage by turning the potentiometer. Notice I have a multimeter connected to the circuit, which you can see on the left. I'm using this to compare the voltage read by the ADC. Let's hold here at about 1.1 volts. As you can see, the meter in the application is displaying relatively the same reading that we have on the multimeter. Let's hold again here and compare the values. Now I'll increase the voltage to its maximum value, which is about 2.7 volts, and then I will lower it back down to zero. As you can see, we are getting very accurate results from this ADC. Now, let's take a look at an actual sensor. The water sensor I'm going to show you does not actually provide a linear scale for water detection, but I'm going to display the results on the linear gauge anyway. Let's bring up a glass of water on the right and show you the results. Watch as I begin to place the sensor into the water. Although it is not linear, meaning that it cannot detect how much water is on it, it does provide different readings for differing amounts of water. Because of this, it makes sense to use this water detection device on an ADC. I have included an option in the software that allows the device to be calibrated. To calibrate the sensor, I place it completely into the water and then press the calibration button. The software will read the current sensor value and then use this as the maximum value. All sensor readings are then scaled to this value. I'll remove the sensor and begin to dry it so we can watch the reading drop. You can see that this device is very sensitive to small amounts of water. I'll use a can of air to remove the remaining amount of water to completely dry the sensor. One more dab to get it completely dry. And there you have it. The reading is now back to zero. If we wanted, we could also configure this device to simply provide a status of wet or not. We can do this using a simple voltage divider circuit and one of the Raspberry Pi's GPIO ports.